Let's begin. It's the win. Listen, laugh, and learn and understand. Hope, believe that you can. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the win. Welcome to The Win Show. We are so glad you joined us. I'm Paula Fellingham, CEO of the Women's Information Network, thewinonline.com. We're the online home for all women, all ages. A community of women helping women live joyful lives filled with passion and purpose. Our hosts today are Suzanne Peterson. She's a talented nurse and mother of four. And Laura Lee Christensen is the Executive Vice President of The Win. And Kim Coles is an actress, a comedian, an author, and a host. Our guest today <laughs> is Deborah Fletcher. She's the mother of 10. Wow. Eight boys, two girls, ranging from 20 <laughs> down to two years old. She's going to be talking to us about how to have a career as an executive mother. And Deborah, I want to ask you, I, I know Deborah's family, and they are an amazing family, and she is a fabulous mother. And I love being a, a mom. It's the most important thing I do, but I've never heard the term executive mother. Tell yeah. me. I'm curious about what you have, are thinking of when you've coined that phrase and what you have in mind for it. You know, my whole life I wanted to grow up to be a mother, but I also wanted to be a doctor. And it, that, those two things kind of didn't go together for a while, but then I found a way to keep going with my education. But I also realized that if I was going to be a full-time mother, I was going to do my best. Mm -hmm. yeah. And still getting there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a whole lot to learn. It's one day yeah. at a time. But one day at a time. But my husband is a, an executive and has been an executive for years. And it occurred to me one day, he's got the tools to manage 80 people. Why can't I manage 10? <laughs> so, so we went to his books and, and he taught me all kinds of wonderful stuff that he does. And I thought, you know, you don't to have to reinvent the wheel. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. An executive means. And so many of the principles yeah. apply to motherhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because an executive across. comes from Absolutely. the root to execute. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mothers are the get things done people. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. We are. And sometimes we just have to do it without any tools. So yeah. I would love to be able to share those tools that I have learned yeah. with other people. And does this mean that you run your kitchen like a boardroom ah. or you run, I mean, do you have minutes for the kids? I mean, how do, you, how do you incorporate these business tools into a family, which is a, is a more organic thing, I think. Pass out an agenda yeah. every morning. Yeah. 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 They plan no, it. Exactly. exactly. I try that. I messed up my oldest kids. graphs and all of that. that. So how do you incorporate these, these tools? You know, th that's the thing that I think I'm so excited about because I have tried all kinds of things. And, and having that military kind of thing, I've tried mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing and the first principle I want to teach uh, as we get teaching about motherhood and executive motherhood is love. Mm, if love. you do not motivate yourself by the love you have for those people, mm. it doesn't work. It doesn't work. The nothing happens. But you no. do need the structure. You need the structure, need but the love, the love <laughs> has got to do with knowing the heart of the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's not just mm -hmm. I'm going to love you and have no discipline. Well, it's very different. It's more like because I love these people, I would help them become disciplined. Help them in their school or whatever they need to do, but also mm -hmm. you're motivated because you love them, not because the neighbor is watching, yeah. mm -hmm. even though they are, <laughs> or uh, not because your mother in law says to do it this way, or your mother says, or your sister. Mm -hmm. I have seven sisters, as you know. She has seven oh. sisters. Two wow. sisters in law, so there's a whole lot of scrutiny, but a lot of opinions. Yes. <laughs> yes, you don't need to do that. You can just follow the heart of the children in your heart. But so well, you feel like that. that it also has to be tailored for each individual child. I've got four kids, and they all yes. respond differently to different things. I can't just have yeah. one way of doing things. Mm -hmm. It's got to be very tailored. That is another principle, actually, that I would like to teach. To get to know yourself first, mm -hmm. because every individual has strengths and weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with having weaknesses, mm -hmm. because if we didn't have weaknesses, we couldn't grow. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. so, so that's another thing, that if you know yourself mm -hmm. and then get to know the child spend time with them. You know, you can't love people that you don't know. No. Mm -hmm. You have to be friends with them and still continue to be the mother figure. Well, and that works in companies, too. Mm -hmm. It does. You mentioned something earlier, too, when we were talking. You said uh, you don't have to be a mother in order to mother in this way. Yes. And you gave a fantastic example. Give the ultimate. I, I think mm -hmm. the best mother I have ever heard of is Mother Teresa. Uh -huh. yeah. She wasn't even married. What there was no marriage. There was no children. Mm -hmm. But she had a mother heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. And I think, I mean, it would be nice if we could sit here and solve all the problems of the world. Mm -hmm. But my insight would be, if every person in the world had a mother that really cared and became their mentor mm -hmm. 
through their whole life, not yes. just until they are five or they go to school, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the world would be different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because everybody could have that opportunity to be a mentor, and if you don't have any children or you are not necessarily a, a biological mother, you can still do that. You don't even have to be female, no. actually, no, <laughs> to be a mentor. No, absolutely. No, yeah, no, that's no. true. That, that spirit yeah. of nurturing and helping and reaching out beyond your own family to, mm -hmm. yeah. to provide that for others who may not be getting it. So yes. not to minimize the 10, because that's like, oh, she has 10 <laughs> children. But what other things are you interested in that you, you're working on? Uh, to kind of give insights yes. to people, you mean? You know, it's been interesting. W well, and the studying you're doing. And the studying, yes. I, if you can believe this, I am really crazy. You know, the whole idea of having 10 is crazy. But I'm trying to finish pre-med and family science oh, at BYU. Wow. Uh, right now? Uh, I'm starting in January. I've done it for the last 15 years. What? So in between pregnancies, I've done <laughs> one credit here and there. And there wasn't that much time between pregnancies. <laughs> yeah, no. So 15, uh, I've done about 30 credits in 15 years, which is not a lot, but, I, <laughs> but it's great. It sure, so yeah. it's been really fascinating to study what the experts have to say. And I wish every mother could have that kind of training. We don't all get to go and finish college or be a doctor, but if, it, if we could provide some kind of guidance to, to inspire, mostly. Mm -hmm. Because you know, you know, your mothers. There is no one way to do things, and I think that's the, the thing that where I run into danger with my show. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to think that somehow I know better, yeah. because I don't. Each person has their own specific gifts that are tailored to the children they have. You know, one thing I love. It, it, there is a tendency sometimes to look down on women who choose full-time motherhood. Yes. And, and you're, you're kind of ennobling that, you know, bringing this term of executive mothering, I think makes, it is going to make women want to be their very best, find the best resources, put into place processes that, um, that they study a little bit about and really think consciously. It'll improve mothering and kind of dignify it. I think. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think that's the thing that is the scariest thing because, uh, and this is the thing I, I believe, we are, we're called the heart of the home. Most people don't take care of the heart. Mm -hmm. It oh. beats no matter what. Isn't true? Isn't it true? Oh, and you don't notice yeah. the heart until it of fails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know how many mothers are out there barely surviving every day or yeah. crying or, or being yes. abused? And it just makes me cry to yeah. think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that they need to have the training, the, the inspiration. The last thing I want to do in my show is to provide guilt. Women are born with guilt. Mm -hmm. and we don't we need do it. it very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it would be we are creating the generations to come. And if we don't take our job seriously, well, the world is in trouble. I mean, it yeah. sounds so chaotic, but it is true. It's true. It's absolutely true. I we have it. loved having you here. I'm, the time's gone really fast. Yeah. The executive mother, it's time to close. Thank you so <laughs> much for joining us. We love being with you. We invite you to visit thewinonline.com, where you'll get solutions, share ideas, and really connect with women worldwide. Have a wonderful day, and choose to live joyfully with passion and purpose. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the Win.